Hi guys, it's Tuesday and I have a haul for you and I thought you might like to see what I got from scrapbook.com since opening and designing and um, having Cheeky Studio launch. I really am particular about what I purchase, but I still purchase. Um, I'm just very selective and I still get my citrus twist kits monthly and other than that it's kind of a once in a blue moon when I order something but I did get this from scrapbook.com like I said and I just think it's lovely so I wanted to get some this is I'll start with the papers and stuff first yeah we'll do papers first so this is good vibes and it is the foil on card stock and it just, I'm sorry for the glare, it has a lovely gold foil and some cut-aparts that are nice. And since I don't make these at Cheeky, I get to buy it. I don't make paper, so. This is also Good Vibes by Crate Paper and I just love this color effect. I think it is just adorable. And then that is the back side, not my fave. I'm okay with the purple. I just, I don't know, the black dots don't appeal to me on a dark background. So I'm definitely going to use this side. Makes me happy. This is also Good Vibes Crepe Paper, and I love the black and white. I'm actually thinking of doing a black and white line for Cheeky. Um, of course, we focus more on ephemera, but um, I think black and white would be lovely this is a cute nice barbie pink with some little hash marks in a darker pink and so i'm gonna have to say i'm probably gonna use this side but i may use both i may cut out some of the leaves this is also good vibes and I just thought it was beautiful. I do like that it's on a dark teal background with the birds and the flowers. I think the um, Cheeky Studio winter flowers will match this very well. There's some nice pinks and purples and yellows that I think will match very well. So I can add that ephemera on top of this. And then the background is just a nice craft, very generic, um, neutral background which would be lovely for anything but I have a feeling I'm going to use more of this side but I may use both. This one is also good vibes and I know llamas are super popular. Um, we do have a llama ephemera set in, um, and flare at Cheeky Studio and so that's another reason why I got this because I think it will go Perfect. It looks so similar to the llamas that I created. Um, it's just, it's going to be a great match for me. So I love this side. And then this side is a nice neutral green. It's not my favorite color of green. I just, it looks, um, how do I put that? It's more of a cool tone that's muted. I, it might go well with something like Maggie Holmes. But I'm probably going to use this side. It's more lively and bright, and I like that. This one is also Crepe Paper Good Vibes. And so it's a nice white with a large black hash mark across the page <clears throat> on a horizontal. And then this is the background, or the back side, which is kind of a modern, I don't know, it's... I don't even know how to describe that. <laughs> I don't really care for this side. I love this side as a neutral. This will make a great background. Um, let's see what else. Okay, so I did get some things that were on clearance that, that I didn't get before. This is sweater weather, and it's I don't buy very many winter items here because I'm in Texas. We don't get a lot of snow or you know we don't have changing of the leaves it just it's either bright green and flowering or dead and dormant <laughs> so we don't get a lot of color in the winter but um, I thought it might work well with some Christmas pictures and this is a beautiful neutral background so I knew I could use it for this soft pink with the white polka dot that's just random and almost looks like snowflakes so I 
got that for like 70% off. This one is also sweater weather. And I thought that these little things were just beautiful. I could fussy cut these out or just use this as a neutral background. Um, and then I love the back, actually. It reminds me of a large sweater pattern from when I was a kid. And it's I like that color green. It's very different. It almost is like a little bit of a chartreuse green. Maybe an avocado with a little bit of chartreuse or yellow in the background. But I think this side is lovely, too. Then this one is from Fall -a Law. I didn't get any of the Sweater Weather or Fall -a Law collection um, other than these pieces. So this is also by Crate Paper and it's called Wonderland. And it also reminds me of, um, you know, like October afternoon or nostalgia, kind of, not my childhood because we didn't really ice skate or anything like that. But um, I just thought the little houses were adorable and the little snowman and the girl pulling the the gifts on her sled home and things like that so very sweet paper the background is also a lovely neutral the b-side is these little teeny tiny red triangles on a very very light pink super light pink um, tint for that's the same tint, uh, same tint as the triangles but makes this nice little zigzag print this is also from crepe paper fa la la and it just i'm sure you've all seen this it just says fa la la all the way across can't go wrong with it super easy to work with would make a great background or you could fussy cut out the letters and then this background is just a lovely pink in that same tint and it's got little teener tiner christmas trees that are darker pink so i thought that was lovely then we also have the um, Snow and Cocoa, which the first time it was released, I got maybe two pieces. I got the chipboard and I think it was the um, Snow Globes. And I'm pretty sure that's all I got my hands on. So I missed out. So now that they did a second release, which I'm shocked, I wanted to pick up the stickers and I just think they're so cute super cute I love this bear I need to create a bear like this or similar don't know what I'm gonna do with clothes I always struggle with things like that but like socks and stuff I don't know I don't know maybe I should do a picture of me on the couch with the fire going and my warm fuzzy socks but I love that super cute this goes with the good vibes. This is the chipboard. I barely buy chipboard anymore, but I love it. I have a tendency to forget about it, actually. I pulled together stuff for a layout um, today and did an entire layout and forgot to do the chipboard. <laughs> so, uh, it also has that llama that I can use with the lots of llamas from Cheeky Studio. And it says fries before guys. I could... I, I don't know where I'd use that because my daughter's so crazy about having a boyfriend. Um, but, and my other daughter, just, she's kind of a, she loves her boyfriend and likes being around him, but she's kind of a loner. She keeps to herself and just kind of wants to do art and write poetry. So, I thought this was very nice. We could use it for summer. I may even be able to use a little bit of it in my Maui album that I'm still working on. <laughs> I've been so busy in the studio, I have not had a chance to finish that thing. So that is my goal this year, is to finish that. So we'll zoom in a little bit here. I also got the Good Vibes Ephemera pieces. This is 45 pieces. Cork and tags. And I think it's going to be lovely I'm gonna enjoy using that and see all the pieces mostly labels places to journal ampersand so that's super duper cute if you want a closer look let me know this is the good vibes stamp and I think this was like three dollars or four dollars it was such a good price and who can't use tiny tech stamps I always get the citrus twist kits every month 
and one of the main reasons is because of their tiny tag stamps i use them like crazy i love them and this says currently loving mood and it has chill seriously funny a very happy life it just it has some fantastic sayings so i got that and then this i believe it's called high five hmm i think it's for good vibes i want to say it is um but i never know let me see if my um packing slip tells me um yes they are good vibes so they are called high five and they're a nice epoxy and i don't carry things like this in the shop so it's good to get the chipboard and the thickers and use my ephemera and my mixed media kits to add to it because that's what I like to do. So that is my haul from scrapbook.com. I am going to be back with another video um, probably in the next day for Citrus Twist. I know I didn't share in January, so I will share, or I'm sorry, this is January. <laughs> I know I didn't share December's, so I'm going to share December's and January's with you on um, the next couple of videos, so stay tuned. Ta-ta for now. Bye!